What's going on everybody? Good afternoon. So I wanted to do a quick little video kind of adding on to the DD15 fuel filter. Now the DD fuel filter that you're gonna see the most common is probably gonna be this one, at least for the time being. It's a three piece fuel filter. As you can see, one, two, three, okay? And this is the new fuel filter kit. As you can see, there's the part number and you're gonna see your three filters Sorry about that, inside. Now what you saw there, the three piece, that's actually the most common one you're gonna see. But now little by little, there's an updated one. So that's gonna be going away, which is the old style. And this is the new style, that's the new part number. You open it up inside, this is what you're going to find. You're gonna find two filters, okay? One. And here is a view of the two fuel filter system. Okay, you're still, some are still gonna have the fuel water separator. That's completely different and independent of what this particular system is, okay? So here, you're gonna have one filter, two filters. Here's your priming pump, okay? And I wanna show you something really quick. I'm gonna show you a couple of different things, a couple of little tips that you're going to need. Hopefully, we'll look you. at the fuel filter, okay? Now, this is the larger of the two. Again, the smaller one and the larger one. The small one, pretty easy, self-explanatory, easy in, easy out. The larger one, check this out. This is the top part where the actual housing or the casing sits on top of. This is what gets inserted into the fuel. Now, if you're gonna notice, there is a little nipple or dowel or a guide, whatever you wanna call it. That has to go into a specific place in the fuel filter, okay? Now, I'll show you that as well in a video, but I wanted to show you this up front so you see it. So this way, when you take it apart, you're gonna wonder what the hell's going on? What the hell, what's up here, you know? Anyway, when you install it, you're gonna to need to lube it in a couple places, one, two, and I believe a little bit more internally. But anyway, the instructions in there tells you exactly where to lube it. You just need a little bit, and that's just really so it doesn't break the seal and it creates a nice tight seal when it's installed. Okay, so I wanna show you that again. Here's a side view. You're gonna be installing this directly into the housing. Right, so again, this is the new updated fuel system on the DD15. You're gonna probably encounter this a lot more now. As again, as they start to transition to the newer trucks, and these are is pretty much what you're gonna start seeing. So that's where your small filter goes, that's where your large filter goes. Now this one literally just goes right in. Okay. And the, the torque specs are right up here, 55 plus five, um, whatever it is, it's not foot pounds, so make sure you look that up, whatever that, uh, I think it's Newton meters. So anyway, you're gonna tighten that down. Now this is where your other larger filter goes, okay? Now if you can see inside, I hope I can show that, okay? The dowel, or that little piece that I was telling you about, that little nipple, if you will, is essentially gonna go right there, just off to the side, okay? Now that's, you're gonna see this and say, well, that looks like where it goes. No, that goes too far out. If you look at the filter relative to where that nipple or that dowel sits or that guide, you're gonna see that it's too far out. If you're gonna try and put there, it's not gonna work and you're gonna be struggling trying to get this thing in. It's not that hard, just be a little patient, okay? And again, you're gonna see just here, I'm gonna see if I can get All some right, more. so I try to turn on the flash or the light. I don't know if you can see it, but again, that is where you're going to be. There you go, hopefully I try to focus that a little bit better for you. That is where the dowel goes. So make sure you insert that filter straight down as much as possible. It will fall into that crevice, and then you begin to turn your, your, your filter. It will catch, so what'll happen is the housing will spin, but the filter will stay, okay? So don't get freaked out by that, perfectly normal. And again, what you're gonna to wanna to do is try to, once you get it in or seated, before you start to tight this down, try and fill this up with as much fuel as possible, okay? That'll minimize your time as far as priming the system because this is your little primer pump and this takes a while. So let me tell you, fill it up as much as you can. I usually try to do it up to the threads or so. You are gonna get some splash, so it's gonna get a little messy. Hopefully you can minimize that. I'll just give you a heads up. So I'm gonna get that installed, prime it, start it. Okay guys, so I'm about to get this installed into the housing and again, there's the dowel or the guide. Add a little bit of assembly lube. I believe in the package they have a little bit of that in there, but uh, anyway, that's what I do is I just kind of lube it up a little bit. I'll clean it up before I install it, but I wanted to show you this just to kind of emphasize what I do. And again, this little dowel is the guide that sits in there. Okay, this filter will spin separate from the actual housing that you see here. Okay, so once it seats properly, this will spin, prime it, add fuel, whatever you gotta do, and then start your All right guys, so once you have it fully seated, again, you're gonna have some fuel that's gonna come out of there. Make sure it's fully seated. This is your priming pump, okay? This is really essentially what you're gonna do is turn it clockwise, counterclockwise, twist it, 
and there you go. So you're gonna need to repeat this process until you start feeling some resistance, okay? Now when you go down, it's not gonna come up. It's not like the other DD15 style. This one you will have to manually push up and down, a lot of fun, and do that again until this actually gets very hard. Once it does that, turn it, lock it down into place, start your engine. So I hope this helps. Again, this is the newer updated fuel filter system that you're gonna start finding more and more on your DD15s and your DD13s. It's a, it's a two fuel filter system. So I hope this video helps. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Thanks, man.